Hey guys, it's Ash and welcome to the 6th episode of my journey to Max Town Hall 11. So how am I doing? Well, I'd say I'm doing pretty good. Uh, better than most other Town Hall 11 players that are having a pretty difficult time finding loot. And I'll be honest, I'm also having a pretty difficult time finding loot. Obviously this was a very very lucky find and that's why I'm sharing it. It's gonna be over 1 million in total resource with the loot bonus. Uh, but yeah, this, these types of bases are almost non-existent. You're gonna need a lot of luck finding them. Uh, obviously it took me hours finding this base uh, but yeah other than this it's very difficult finding uh, loot and uh, most of the bases that I attack are max town hall 10 bases that are offering me lots of elixir inside storages uh, so I just attack them and I try to attack for at least like 250,000 elixir in total so if I can make like at least 200,050 elixir I'll attack that base uh, even though it has storages inside the base with giants, barbarians, archers and my heroes I can quite easily get that elixir. So my experience as a Town Hall 11 player has been much easier than most other players that haven't been using their heroes or don't have powerful heroes. Uh, they're, they're having a very difficult time farming. So one thing I've been noticing a lot is that a lot of people are rushing to Town Hall 11 for the Grand Warden and level 3 witches because of how OP they are. They make wars much easier as uh, you can now 3 star Town Hall 10s and also even destroy Town Hall 11s because the Eagle Artillery is just a horrible defense, it's not really that good. Uh, however, you're gonna need strong heroes, you're gonna need at least a level 30 King and Queen as you're gonna have to use them for farming otherwise farming is gonna be very difficult you're gonna need to use them and you're also gonna have to start attacking town hall 10s that have inferno towers why because you're not gonna be able to attack town hall 9s anymore due to the new matchmaking system uh, it's much harder finding town hall 9s not only that it's not worth attacking town hall 9s anymore as a town hall 11 player because of the 50 percent loot penalty so it's really not worth attacking Town Hall 9s and you're not going to find Town Hall 9s. So that leaves you with attacking Town Hall 10s and 11s. And they obviously have Inferno Towers. So in order to counter them and farm against them, you can't rely on Barbarians, Archers, Minions, Giants, those troops. You're going to need to use high level heroes for farming. Otherwise you're going to struggle. So my biggest recommendation for upgrading to Town Hall 11 would be to have high level heroes. You're gonna need a really high level Barbarian King and an Archer Queen for farming. You're gonna have to integrate them for farming otherwise it's just gonna be very difficult to make resource to make loot at Town Hall 11. You're also gonna need really high level walls. Level 9 walls just don't cut it in my opinion. They're just too easy to break especially with like a level 5 go wipe attack. Uh, so yeah, definitely finish all your level 10 walls, maybe even level 11 walls if you're if, if you really want to finish them quicker, then you should stay at Town Hall 10 to finish them. As otherwise you're gonna regret it as it's very difficult farming golden elixir at Town Hall 11. It's much easier at Town Hall 10, so if you want to get those high level walls done, you should stay at Town Hall 10 to do them. Now if you're already a Town Hall 11 player or a player in general who's having a hard time finding loot then I'd say just give it a couple more days because at the moment you have a high activity of players especially after a major update and also it's the one gem Christmas event so you're gonna have a hard time finding loot at the moment but it's gonna get better as people stop playing uh, when people stop collecting their resources from their collectors and that's gonna equate to more dead bases or bases with a lot of resources inside collectors so yeah just wait it out for a few more days I'd say but of course that doesn't mean you should stop playing you should still play and try to farm uh, try cooking up stronger armies uh, try integrating like wizards in your army composition with the giants that makes it much easier uh, breaking inside bases and getting storages uh, also try to multitask do something productive while farming so you're not really wasting your time just just searching don't search for too long just attack any base that you can profit off of make a nice profit by attacking the storages okay that will be it for this episode hope you guys enjoyed that if you did be sure to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys again soon in the next episode later <laughs>